Manifest V2 support has been officially dropped in Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome browsers. What does that mean? Have a lot of YouTubers just kind of hyped it up into like this huge thing, like it's the end of ad blockers? Not really. I've actually been testing it. I tested it on stream for about an hour over on Titus Tech Top, if you want something a little more uh, long form than this video. But I'm going to just tell you right now, the too long didn't watch of all of it is, eh, I really, I, I almost, I, I don't want to make this take because this is a pretty hot take, but I'm gonna. It is not really that bad. And I've actually switched to Google Chrome. I know. I know, I can hear the comments already. Titus, you Google shill. But honestly, Manifest V3 wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And uh, many of it, like, I still have my U-Block over here. It's still working pretty good. It still has the same percentage as the old U-Block. Uh, it was able to block a lot of ads on even YouTube. So, I mean, I'm like, eh. It, it, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. And I noticed the speed, um, maybe maybe a very minor speed increase instead of a decrease. And I think the big thing with V3, and this makes sense of why it seems faster to me, is really the big thing that happens between V2 and V3 is, well, everything is declarative now. So there's no like on-demand loading of certain external JavaScripts. There's no remote hosted code. There's, there's none of that. Everything has to be done as soon as you boot up your browser. Everything, all the extensions are loaded. They can't remotely do anything. And they did this mainly from a security aspect. And now looking at it, as much as I wanted to be like tinfoil hat and go, ah, Google's just trying to make us watch more ads, the end result was not really that. It was... The ads are the same for me because well, I'm still using uBlock Origin. I think it's called uBlock Origin Lite now. Um, and I just do basic config. It's super easy to set up. Here's my current settings. I just set it to optimal, uh, external lists. I just do this and it's pretty much the exact same for me. So I, I haven't run into any issues. So what's the big hubbub? Is there anything that I've noticed that is degraded from V2 to V3? Uh, me personally, no. But I think if you do, uh, the one thing I would say that I did notice when I pulled up YouTube, I was getting shorts and some things that I blocked. Although I'm looking at it and I don't see shorts on my feed. So maybe I was able to do it. I, I no longer was doing the blocks and I was still doing the V2 uh, annoyances. I think maybe that extra chat box might have gotten rid of shorts for me. But that was the big thing was when I was pulling up like shorts over here, it was showing. <laughs> of course, it's pirate software, the master, the master of shorts. Um, but other than that, I, I still notice it's blocking a ton of stuff. And if you don't want to use a browser based extension to block ads, that's also okay. Like that's the one thing most people don't tell you about V2 to V3. Well, frankly, this is like substandard even on V2. You should be using like if I had my way and I was setting up your network, I would do PF blocker in G probably on a PF sense box and just call it a day. It would block everything before it hit any endpoint. Mobile phone, browser, everything. So I, I really like this. Pi Hole. There's a ton of uh, videos on YouTube about Pi Hole. I highly recommend probably Craft Computing has a really good one. So does uh, Tom Lawrence uh, as, as well, because they do it usually with um, Unbound and Pi Hole together. So it can do recursion and uh, other things that, that just make make it a really fast experience, which is great. So if you do use these type of thing, that's really good. And then one thing that was suggested to me as well, I hadn't personally used this, but I've heard a lot of great things about AdGuard. All these are also very good solutions that are external outside of your browser that would protect your whole network from a lot of ads. That means your TV, your mobile phones, your computers, everything, tablets, all that. So uh, I personally like these solutions better, but when it came to V2 getting sunset and now we're on V3 and I'm trying it out on Google Chrome here, uh, I really don't notice a difference. Yeah. Uh, and just to show you too, let's go to like ESPN.com 
it loads pretty fast. You still got some lazy loading, but it does a pretty good job. If you go to the old man sites like yahoo.com, goodness, but it blocks a good chunk of it. Like you can see where the ads would be just like you would with uBlock or even like MSN is another crap site that has just tons of ads everywhere and bought and paid for. So you can see, oh, that's an ad spot. That's an ad spot. That's an ad spot, <laughs> you know? Uh, and I think it like has like, here you go, exclusive deals, cash back now on V2. Maybe this carousel might have be blocked, but it gets 90 something percent of it. And just to show that as well, if you go to d3ward.github.io, tools, adblock.html, you can test your blockers. And testing from a V2 to V3 both test at about 99%. So there's a real world test. There's a more you know stringent test to kind of show you the differences. And it's very minimal. They both achieve pretty much the same thing, except I think V3 is more secure. And frankly, I think it is faster. So there we go. On to the next thing. Hope you like it. Uh, let me know how much you're disappointed in my endorsement of V3 that I didn't know I was going to do. And Google, you make sure you send those paychecks. Make it out to Chris Titus Tech. Thanks, Google. All right. Peace.